Hey everyone, um, I'm making this video about Libby Davies. She is the deputy leader of the NDP party. Um, she is being attacked by the Liberal Party and the Conservative Party and even a member of her own party over her remark about Israeli occupation. Um, she did a personal interview, um, it's on YouTube, where she was asked if the Israeli occupation started in 48 or 67, and she said six, uh, 48. And she's getting in hot water over that. And um, Libby Davy is a very um, esteemed member of the parliament. She has stood up for gay rights, women's rights, the homeless, and she is no Hamas supporter. I don't think she is, she didn't say anything about challenging Israel's right to exist. She simply said that, you know, when asked, she made an unwise comment, which she apologized for, that, um, it's really occupation start in 48, which is debatable. We should be open to debate things like that in the House of Commons without politicians attacking each other. And um, because when Israel was created, some had said that it's already in violation of Resolution 181 under the UN plan because it states that Arabs were not to be expelled from the territory granted to Israel. But in fact, that did happen. Many Palestinians were expelled and killed. And the liberal has no right to attack Libby Davies. The liberal leader has said in the past that he did not lose sleep over an Israeli airstrike that killed dozens of Lebanese civilians in a village. And Prime Minister Harper has done a lot of damage to Canadian democracy. He has no right to tell anyone to resign. Maybe he should resign over maybe like shutting down the government to avoid accountability, accountability from the House of Commons or lie about Canadian democracy by saying that a coalition government made up of a majority members of the Parliament do not get to form a legitimate government? Or how about his saying that it's okay to ignore parliamentary supremacy and continue to censor Afghan documents from being reviewed by our elected representatives? Or insulting our country by saying that Canada appears content to become a second-tier socialistic country and not even condemn or make any disapproving comment over Israel action on the Turkish aid fleet that happened two weeks ago? If anyone is to resign, it should be Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Thank you.